Oh, hello. Hey, hey, how are we all doing today? Oh, gosh, there's other people here, too. It, for a minute, it was just like, oh, what a laid back little Zoom call. Uh, <laughs> we focus off the internet. Uh, and today we're going to do something very, very stressful, very high impact, very... Oh, oh yeah, it's going to be high octane nonstop. <laughs> Screaming, no. weeping. Yeah. So it's kind of challenging because when we promise the season, we promise people no code. But but that's not strictly true. We promise them no code and low code stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm going to ask you the the difficult question, the scary question. Is Markdown Ooh. coding? Oh, so Markdown is, oh, we had this and I already forgot. That is a difficult, scary question. I'd also love to check with folks in the chat. Hello, oh, yeah. folks are saying hello. Oh, Gabriel gosh. is here. Thank with you again for joining. Waving. Yeah, love it. Lexi's here. Hello, Lexi. Um, so feel free to, to join in with your opinion, folks. But I... So I would consider anything we write in order to tell a computer what to do, in a way, a language that we're speaking with that computer. Um, as Sylvia says, hello, Sylvia. Mark I think that Markdown is coding, definitely. Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a very specific kind of angle. Ooh, kind of, let's and, hear and it. I kind of don't care. Ah, in, a, in a very ah. chilled out way. Because every now and again, you'll meet people... We haven't covered HTML with the Bad Website Club. We're going to announce that we're doing... Sorry, nothing weird is going on. This is just a cat sitting between me and the screen. So if you see me going, I'm not staring y'all down. I'm staring down my worst son. Sir, oh. sir, you're causing a scene, sir. Love seeing people come in. Ryan's here saying hello. Deb's here. Hello, Emmy. Oh, hello, hello, Michael. Mothers. I interrupted so you, So at the boot camp... No, not at all. You would never... With the boot camp, we're going to be learning HTML, CSS first. And a lot of people are like, oh, HTML is not a programming language. And respectfully, I kind of don't care. Well, I was like, well, it's a, it's a language and you talk to your browser. And Markdown kind of feels like the same thing. Like it's really similar to HTML, isn't it? Yeah. I, I like, would say so. Oh, it's not a programming language. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I, I agree wholeheartedly. And I like I like Sylvia's distinction here that it's coding, right? Because uh, we, we are writing code that speaks to a computer. I I think that's a, a really fair qualification. Like, oh, it's a code, because it is, it's a it's a an encoded way of communicating stuff. Oh, Sylvia has enunciated further. Saying Sylvia, and remember this is Sylvia from yesterday who came to talk to us. Yeah. And Sylvia's so saying, you know, I think it's <laughs> Go ahead, Jess. It's the delight. No, 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 please do. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, so Sylvia says, I think it's coding because it has some syntax, which means specific signs or phrases, some rules, and it is then translated into HTML. Yeah, this, this works for me. So let's... And today we're going to keep it nice and short because somebody has a date. Ooh. Bigot and I are going to go out for dinner, so we will play around with some website stuff, code of conduct link. We've got a yeah. schedule on the Bad Website Club website. If you want to see that our bad website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the one to see. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. Let's, well, let me just go ahead and share my screen and, and show you a little bit of what I would love to work on today. Yeah. So in... Sorry, go ahead, Jess. Oh, no, I was just like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. So what we have here is a website that we've prepared for today in order that's going to use the web publisher tools that we set up yesterday to be able to write websites with Markdown. So if somebody's and looking at this and saying, wait, 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 how do I set it up? It's... Oh, hang on. I'll grab the link to yesterday's video. And oh, folks, great just, idea. Thank you. Yeah, everything's mellow. Nothing is wrong. Hmm. I'll let you continue explaining what we're doing while I go and get that very I'm sorry. I got, I, I got very excited. <laughs> you're like, so you're going to go get a link. Heck yeah. 
So what we have here is a website. And for those curious, it's using a tool called VitePress. We're not going to cover too much about VitePress today. We will definitely cover this or something similar later on in the Bad Website Club timeline. Uh, so don't don't worry too much. What you see here is a website that's generated that has that uses Markdown. There's an about page that I believe is empty. 404. Jess, I don't think we've seen 404. Page What's the 404? I don't. So let's talk about these response codes more generally because there's a bunch of them. And this is the kind yeah. of thing where this is why you're a much better teacher than I am. Every time I hit something weird and new, I'm like, wait, 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 stop. We got to talk about that, the, that these codes exist is totally. cool. Um, and that there's a bunch of different ones, including at least two joke ones, at least one joke one I can think of. Oh, yeah, there is a joke one, isn't there? So um, when we think about a, ser mm, so, oh, wow, do we have to explain servers first? So everything you do online is computers talking to computers. Totally. Um, and where your website lives is just another computer somewhere else generally. Sometimes you could self-host. It'll be a computer at your house. But generally, mm -hmm. hosting, oh, Starlight's got me way ahead of it and say, oh, the joke one is the teapot one. We'll get to the teapot. We'll get to the teapot, I promise. <laughs> Um, and when you when you go and fetch a website, what you're really doing is getting some files off of another another computer. And these response codes are the server giving you a little preview to say, hey, 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 I know what's going on. And there's a whole bunch of codes that we generally don't see. If yeah. you go to the bad our bad website dot club, Let's we're do not that gonna right get here. a code. We're not gonna see a code. I've just refreshed it. Yeah. Yeah. But our server sent a 200 code back. And any of the codes that start uh, with 200 is just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found that and I gave it to you. We'd have to like dig through some nerdy logs to see these 200s. You know, uh, whenever I want to. Oh, sorry. No, 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 please. I, I was I was just going to share whenever I want to remember either of these, I always go into my preferred search engine of choice and look for either HTTP dogs or HTTP cats to get cute little images from with dogs and cats in them to represent each of these codes. And they're quite cute. What? Is that a thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me grab. First, let me grab. Oh, thank That's... you so much, Jess. No, hush. I'm grabbing. Uh, oh, I'm grabbing the MDN for HTTP response codes. Oh, yes, please. What is MDN, by the way? I think I've heard of that before. Do you know what you, when I used to teach these boot camps, I was always really careful to say, oh, I really like Mozilla. I don't work for Mozilla. I'm not, and now I work for Mozilla again. Uh, <laughs> so this is making me kind kind of a meanie, kind kind of making me sound a little bit insincere. Um, to be fair, I, uh, I work for the Mozilla Foundation, not the corporation. So I don't work for the, the folks who make, I'm going to share my screen too, just so we can battle. Oh. Go for it. Oh, I think you did that work. Ha ha ha. Um, and MDN is this oh, resource around lovely. web development that the Mozilla Corporation, who are the coolest people. I know some of the people who make this. They're so smart and cool. Oh, um, but they'll tell you stuff like, what does this HTML tag do? Or what does this JavaScript uh, thing do? And here they've, they've explained status codes. And mm -hmm. anything that's got a two in front of it for the 200s is just like, yeah, everything's fine. And if it's a problem on our side, if it's a problem with our computer, maybe we've chosen a page that doesn't exist, we'll get these client error responses. Bad request, oh, yeah. unauthorized for 401 that says, no, 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 you are not allowed to access this. Payment required. Oh, this doesn't exist yet. That's the future. I like this Ooh. one. This is forbidden. <laughs> so unauthorized 401 is like, hey, I don't know whether or not you're allowed to have this. 403 is like, I know who you are and you can't have this. But 404 is super common. This just is saying, do you know what? I went to go get that resource and that could be a website or an image. It said, I went to that URL. I went to that address you gave me. and I couldn't yeah. find anything. There's nothing there. Just really quickly, where's my fun ones? Let me search for a teapot. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. Uh, 
Ah, uh, here we go. Four eighteen is a joke one. I'm a teapot. <laughs> Refuses yeah. to brew coffee because it is permanently a teapot. A combined coffee teapot that is temporarily out of office, out of coffee, should instead <laughs> earn five oh three. April Fool's. It's I've never heard just of this. An old April Fool's. Really? There's a I mean, literary I've heard of the, one I'm a too. Teapot, but, but not the distinction with like, you know, uh, a coffee pot and a teapot. Uh, That's what's the? Huh. There's also what's the? Oh no! What's the Ray Bradbury novel? Uh, Fahrenheit four fifty one. Oh yeah. Hey, so there's all, so these are my two favorite codes Easter eggs is the I'm a teapot and unavailable due to legal reasons. And usually this was sort of local level censorship. Um, and it's a okay. very, very, so it's a, it's a literary reference to Fahrenheit 451, which is very, very cool. Wow. Yeah. I did, this one I definitely know, didn't know about. Oh, so that's just me being an absolute weirdo about these codes. I really like them. Uh, do you know what? We, we might have to do a social sometimes where we just talk about weird web stuff. But here oh. what we said is, I want to go to this website. I want to go to this page, yep. this about page. This about page, And it yeah. doesn't exist yet. Exactly. Exactly. So what I figured we can do, there's a couple of things we can do. Because first of all, this website, this Hello World website, and you know, you'll often see websites that have the name, you know, Hello World, or you why, know, why, programs. What's yeah? What's with Hello? Not to take us down another weird programming thing, but why? Do, why do we see Hello World so often? I think I, I could be wrong, um, but I, I think most of it comes from habit or or convention of like when you write your first program, you want that program to greet the world, so it'll say Hello World, and so when we're taught programming or coding. More often than not, we'll write our first program, which is the Hello World program. When you're learning a programming language, you'll be uh, have it print out or show a website that says Hello World. Cool. So this is just sort of a tradition that the first thing you do with a new program or a new programming language or sometimes with a new website is say, hello, I exist. Sort of yeah. speak it into being. Exactly. That's very poetic. So... So we've got this about page that doesn't exist yet, and we've got this rather empty index page. So what I thought we could do today is use Web Publisher to do to work on both of these uh, pages. So I think we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna take us to our my other tab where I've created a new repository that has some files in it, and a lot of these are gonna seem pretty familiar to what we've done yesterday and last week. You'll see, for example, we've got the package JSON file that we worked on, as well as an index MD. The first thing I'm going to do is actually add a new file, create a new <gasps> file. And I'm going to call it about. Oh, I bet I know what it's. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's sorry. <laughs> Jess, no, I'm, no, I was just I'm really excited. Like, like, I actually know what's going on. You're, you've <laughs> never been rude in your life. I, I bet you're a polite newborn. <laughs> oh, I have. Um, but you're very kind. So I've created, so I'm going to create this new file and you know what, I'm going to go ahead and leave it empty. And as we learned last week, I'm going to create that new file, commit it directly into the main branch. So I'm going to commit that new file. And now we've got that brand new file with about in it, or I thought I had it. Oh yeah. I just in had it, to refresh. not in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Everything's <laughs> fine and everything's going to be fine. Absolutely. So what do you think, Jess? Should we write some content in about or index first? Um, I, I think starting in the beginning is probably going to be the easiest way. Let's see. What kind of web page is this? So I called it Bad Website Web Publisher as a sort of like a blank canvas for us to be able to work in whatever we like. So... The state, the 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 canvas is ours. Do you have an idea can for something we, do we can make with? a fan page for HTTP codes? Of course, let's <laughs> let's do just that. So we'll I mean, there's only with... the two that are exceptionally cool. The rest of them are just like, 
oh, I should know the. And most pub- people don't know all of them. If you were like, Jess, what's a 207? I'd be like, I don't know, I but it idea. worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> cool. So I've opened a new tab here with the contents of the index MD. You'll see it says hello world. Now we're going to apply what we learned yesterday from Sylvia and Gabriel, which is to click on this pen icon, pencil icon. And now I'm going to go to my URL or um, address here at the top. Did you know that a lot of the time this is called a location bar? Is it? The the little bar in your browser? Yeah. Huh. And that's, I'm... and that's why. <laughs> I, I absolutely should have known that, but uh, I didn't. Oh, I mean, like these, the, and, and that's why I think that's why if you want to use a keyboard shortcut to go to immediately start typing in the location bar, if you press control or command L, it'll highlight it for you. Yeah. So there's your, there's your keyboard shortcut. So, um, and we're going to apply what we learned yesterday, right? Which is to, um, prepend that is put at the beginning pr.new forward slash and then file itself so what this should do now is bring us into a web publisher and start start up our website and on the left we'll have our markdown and on the right we'll have our website now so one thing i'm going to do and I'm excited because I'm going to sound really smart um, during this one. But the only reason I'm going to sound really smart is I'm looking at a markdown cheat sheet. If you could hear me tap, tap, tapping, that's me going to get a markdown cheat sheet. Fantastic. Thank you. That'll be super helpful. Who who does a good one? uh... I know who does a good one. (laughs) Here's a markdown one from Free Code Camp. (gasps) Free Code. They're just the best. Oh, I know. You know, they're a registered nonprofit. Oh, I've. Yeah, everything's fine. So we're going to mark down cheat sheet. Could you send that to me in the private sheet, please? So I can. I, I absolutely can. So I can open it. Oh, <laughs> no. Now everybody knows there's a private chat where we gossip about how nice all the learners oh. are. So let's open that up real quick just to show folks. What we're looking at. I and just love this. It starts with like some some what is markdown, but I've come all the way down to the tables. Oh yeah. So yeah, because I think down. these heading one, heading two, heading three, oh, italics, perfect. bold. I think this is most of what we're going to be playing with. And folks who've written some HTML, this feels really familiar. Um, and I should definitely be better at remembering markdown syntax than I am. But I should do a lot of things that I don't do. So let's just let it go. Oh, I I, I feel you. I forget my markdown all the time. Well, so it's fine. Yeah. Shall we? Do you want to uh, gently boss me into writing some stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not Hello World. It's, oh, what's a good name for uh, status codes? Oh, what's a good pun name for a status codes fan club? Status codes. Let's just I... call it status codes fan uh, fan club for now. And we can come back. You know, at three in the morning, you're just going to sit bold upright and scream the, the best pun that has ever existed for this. Totally. I That happens to me only all the time. So but check it out. Our... So H1. Sorry. Oh, if, it was, if it was HTML, it would be H1, the equivalent. Mm-hmm. And check it out. Like it updated as we wrote it. Oh, that's not bad at all. Super yeah, so oh, not none only of this do refresh see... business. No, no refresh business. And what's cool about this is that not only do we get to see what our markdown looks like, you know, as it might show up, but we get to see what the whole website looks like, which is really cool. Because markdown isn't generally sort of a web technology as we think of it. Like generally the the core web pro- I know, I know you're going to say something about WebAssembly, but that, that, that's, that's an edge case here. <laughs> when we think about languages we use to make websites, the sort of core of them had been for a long time, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And then PHP came in and was like, yeah, yeah. If you haven't used or if you haven't seen these yet, it's not going to hurt you. 
Um, oh, yeah. But Markdown is just sort of a different way to render this. This is really fun. Yeah. And it allows us to also like read it, write it in a, in a, in a way that doesn't become obfuscate or I'm sorry, the uh, cluttered with way too many symbols that we, when we were looking at HTML last time with all of these bigger than and smaller than signs. Cause I think in theory, you can write HTML in Markdown. <laughs> I think. I, th I think you can, but I... to... let me see. Uh... Beep. It just absolutely did not like the, uh, so if you haven't seen HTML before, it's fine. It's not going to hurt you. We're definitely going to leave it learning this over the summer. Uh, totally. but, so let's start breaking up some of the smaller um, mm -hmm. headings. So I think if it's a one. So when you say smaller. Side, yeah, sorry. Why well, I, I think uh, descending in importance, descending in, in sort of a, a tree of taxonomy. Mm -hmm. And I only know this because I'm peeking at the cheat sheet. Yeah, I think it's two hash, hashes. Um, let's do a second level heading for mm -hmm. 100, 200, 300, and 400s generally. And that's just going to... 300. Whoop. Was that? Okay. Yeah. So she just needs a, a oh, she doesn't need a even. I, I'm never sure why um, digital creations are always girls in my heart, but she didn't need any help at all. She was just like, no, I've got this. I'm going to make all these and giving us little sections as well. I quite like that. Yeah. It's very pretty. And we can so also we resize do, this. Oh, we can. We don't have to do all of these, but we might want to exactly. fill out. Which one would be the most interesting one to do? Well, we can start with the most familiar one. How's that? Um, I'm, I'm afraid I'm the most familiar with the 400s because I break stuff all the time. That's okay. Also, the teapot one is in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I I think Nate this. Coates has, has like, this. Teapot. <laughs> do the teapot. Who am I to say no, right? <laughs> all right. So, so. Uh, do you know what a friend of mine who's just down the road has opened her own tattoo parlor um, oh. called the Golden Goose Tattoo? And they're in unit 404. And I'm a big nerd. And I'm always like, ah, oh. because uh, it is a bit difficult to find. Love it. So let's, yeah, so. let's do some of these status codes. Um, yeah. And that was a very, very effusive do the teapot. Should. Should we have third level headings for the teapots? Hmm. Or yeah. for the um, well, we... for the individual codes? Or <laughs> an ordered list or an unordered list? An on... If we're dealing with numbers, an unordered list is the, the rational th way to go. If we're doing numbers, an unordered list is the way to go. Yeah, I do actually wonder if we do, if I may try, if we do an ordered list that starts from, say, starts at 400. Yeah. How does that work? So it's, what's the, uh, what's the syntax for uh, making a, oh, an ordered list? I absolutely know that. I'm just going to move my eyes around. Um, so an unordered list is star space list item. Star. That That's an unordered one, right? I think we need yeah. the, the number but I don't remember what comes after. Oh, and Sylvia says it's the 4th of April, i.e. 404 today. Ah. Oh, I love it when li when dates line up like that. Oh, you're going out on a little date on a date that's not found. Oh, you're going to love this. Do you know how to make... I bet you can guess how you make an ordered list. Uh, Does it have like a comma or a full stop? You write the number and then have a full stop, yeah. Cool. Let's give that a try. You just so write it the way like... Humans would write it. Wonderful. Look at that. See? Oh, we've got a scroll. And there it is. The law. Okay, so. What's the title? Uh, so 400 uh, is just 400. Uh, so the what uh, 400, if you see a 400 error, that is a bad request. And I can read this. 
The server cannot or will not. I love this. It sounds so human. The server cannot or will not process the request due to something that's wrong on the client side. So maybe you typed the syntax wrong. Maybe you framed mm -hmm. the message wrong. Or maybe the message looks like it came in a kind of suspect way. Interesting. Um, and he would just say like, oh, bad request. I'm not going to do that. <gasps> and check it out. Oh, I magic. hit enter. Yeah, I love that. Shall we type so, out a couple of these until we get to teapot? Yeah. That one's unauthorized. So that just means the browser doesn't know, the server doesn't know who you are or what you want. Yeah. The, the server said no to stranger danger. Uh, so 402 is payment required, but that's like a, that, that code is reserved. It, it's not in use yet. Someday we'll probably use it, but not yet. What do we oh, got? 403. Oh, oh what do you we got? can use markdown. Let's make this like, let's make it uh, noticeable that it's reserved. So I'm going to use, I think it's like an underscore to turn it into italics. Oh, oh it's absolutely reserved. I like that. Um, 403 is forbidden. <laughs> I, I'm going to place the emphasis with bold. <laughs> and this is just magically <laughs> making us a website out of our markdown, which I really want to stress is not the usual deal. There's some other things like, um, does GitHub pages do this as well as an option? Correct. Yeah. In fact, that's uh, what our website does. Sorry, carry is on. It? Is it? Did we do that in Markdown? Mm -hmm. No, uh, we can't. Actually, we did yesterday a little bit. Uh, uh, where I was just like, where was I? And you were like, Jess, you were moderating. You were here. Uh, four, four, <laughs> not found. And overwhelmingly, if you're a human surfing the web, this means you typed something wrong or they moved a website. Totally. Um, 405 is method not allowed. So the way you tried to request this from the server is not okay. And you're almost never going to see that on the web. That's like an API thing. We'll learn about that yeah. two and a half boot camps from now. 406, yeah. not acceptable. Ah, finally. So I said, hey, do you know what? We went back and forth on this. The server negotiated and said, I couldn't find anything that is the acceptable version of what you asked for. I couldn't find anything nice enough to bring you. Okay, we're going to go down a list a little bit faster. 407, proxy authentication required. This is a lot like 401, but this says, no, no, no. Not just do I not know you, but you need to go through a specific door oh. for me to know you. Yeah. You need, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We need someone else to tell me, yeah, this person's legitimate. Yeah. So if I come to your house through the window, you might be like, absolutely not. What is that? <laughs> Come in through an official proxy, like come in through the door. Uh, we've got 408, which is request timeout. So I went to go get something off the web and the server took so long that my browser was just like, my client was just like, no, I'm not doing it. 409, <laughs> conflict. Ooh. Right? Do we love this? Yeah, and this it's, is like, it's... look, I got a response from the server, but it conflicts. Can I put an emoji? Sorry, yeah. carry on. Well, I mean, can you put an emoji? Let's find out. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to take us off track. No, no. I mean, <gasps> we can absolutely do an emoji. We've just got a couple more of these to go. I promise. Oh. <laughs> oh, so Susan's saying, hey, do you know what? If we're talking about um, that you need to come through a specific proxy, uh, where does Santa come in? So Santa's probably going to hit a Santa's probably going to hit a 200 request because Santa is not unauthorized. He's not an unknown user. He's yeah. not forbidden. He's not a known banned user. Um, it's not going to be uh, 405 because the method he's using to get in is allowed. Um, and he doesn't need a proxy. He doesn't need to like if Santa came down and didn't have a beard he might hit mm -hmm. a 407, like, no, 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 I don't know you. Come back when you have a beard. But like Santa, With... probably going to just draw 200. Oh, yeah. And for 408, you know, he only comes on Christmas. If he comes later than that, Santa, I'm sorry, Santa, you have to go. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's not a bad way. Wow. <laughs> what have we got? We got four ten. Gone. I love how <laughs> absolutely menacing these are. So that's the response when you get when you go and get something and it said, look, the server says, babe, I did absolutely have that here, but that's gone and it's like permanently gone. It's not here anymore. It's none of your business. I guess unless it's your server, then it's your business. Um, 411 is length required. And this is going to be for, for API or automated calls where it said you've requested something off this server, but you need to tell me how much you're requesting. You know what, Jess? Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if we should format some of these to look a little bit more codey. I believe oh, in should Markdown we? you can use these backtick characters. Oh. What do you think? That's very cool. Yeah. It kind of gives oh, it a should nice. We, should we use those for the, the ones you're unlikely to hit just surfing the web? Oh, great idea. Yeah, what the ones that we emoji? think are probably going to be. Oh, the emoji's fine. And I should add, almost all of these are going to be pretty rare. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, you're never going to see 402 ever. Well, unless you're watching this in the far future and they've started using that. But but generally True. speaking, well, that's it's going to be fine. Oh, interesting. So when I made it Cody, the um, oh. markdown's like, well, I can't italics Cody-ness. So probably what I'll do is do this. Oh, that's quite clever. Yeah. So now just the name is encoded, but not the whole thing. I'm going to hide that. Yeah, now we've got more space. You know what? I might cheat and just skip to 419 because there are some other ones in here, but these are all kind of reasonably niche. There are things like payload is too long or the UR large or the URI is too long or an unsupported yeah. media type. And y'all are getting tired of me trying to think of clever ways to describe <laughs> it. Oh. Sorry, my favorite daughter uh, has come to say oh. Hello. He does not want to be picked up. Fair. Um, I think that feeding the cats right after streams has has not been a good timing choice. So we've got four eighteen next, and now, now we run into a bit of an issue. Well, okay. let's do four eighteen first. What's the title again? I'm a teapot. I'm a teapot. And the error message here is the server refuses to the attempt to brew coffee with a teapot. Quickly find out there is indeed very important a a teapot emoji. Yeah. However, look at the markdown on the right. Uh, sorry, not the markdown. Markdown on the left. Uh, writing on the right. The the website yeah. on the right. So what's going on? Markdown is anticipating <sighs> that the list is in order. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do the rest of those numbers and just leave them blank. That'll, that'll be like, oh, yeah, we could have, but we're not going to. I wouldn't. Yeah. Or I think alternatively, let me just mess around with this. I like to push yeah, yeah, yeah. Markdown because Markdown ain't the boss of me. Maybe it is. I mean, Markdown is expressly the boss of you. I think it is. So, <laughs> oh, you know what? Shall we be lazy and just put like to be added? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. That website, after all. I mean. And there we this go. This is one of my favorite lies in, in web development or any kind of <laughs> any kind of technical work, really. Anytime you see a to-do or my personal favorite to-do to do fix. To-do fix. I like that more. Uh, do you know what's even better than a to-do fix? That. I love a won't fix. Oh, oh, I think I've yeah. seen that. <laughs> I Can bet I you've those? seen a sticker of those. Yeah. Uh, so that's just somebody being like, hey, cool. I see that this is broken, but it's just going to stay broken. I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> I dig it. And that way we'll, we've kind of like, we've I've used the Markdown strikeout with the two squigglies to sort of tell Markdown like, hey, just draw a line through it, please. Yeah. Under, constru <gasps> under construction. Oh, Jess. You know what? <laughs> you know what? We do. This is Markdown. Yeah. We can add an image. Okay. Do we want to see if we can link a construction An animated GIF? GIF? Um, Let's see if we can find one. 
We're going to wind up hot linking and that's teaching learners bad habits. True. Ah, but we can take that image and put it in our repository. Oh, we can. That is legal. Construction animated GIF. We're both doing the exact same thing at the same time. I want oh, I that on a blurry orange one. Uh-huh. But I'm not I seeing I found the... this one here. Which is, oh, you know. Yeah. It's higher quality than it was in my heart. <laughs> I kind of dig the two frames of animation. Like, it looks like it's padding the dirt. Like, that's a good dirt. I mean, oh, now that you've said that, it's, it does have a, a sort of unmarked grave by the, by the roadside quality. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> Everything's fine. So here's fine. what we're going to do. Yeah, totally. So here's what we're going to do. Let's uh, propose changes. So I'm going to use a uh, web publisher to save our work so far. And we'll do Which that. Which is very That'll important. Open it up. Yeah. Uh, start writing uh, status codes. It's and this is really important because if you just say fix stuff, um, if you go back in a month or a week or a day later and you're like, what did this oh, yeah. pull request do? What did this code do? Um, when you see my actual work work, lots of it is Suze is over here after my heart saying, look, commit and push off in. Cool. Um, it's That's like a video advice. game. Like. Absolutely. Commit is save to your device. Um, actually I was trying to compare it to video games and I'm not really sure that this is actually true. Um, but if I've got my switch and I save something to my switch, if I'm offline, that means maybe I've just saved it to my device, but I want to go ahead and save it to my Nintendo account. Um, exactly. so I kind of think right. of like commit, save to my device or, or get ready to save. And then push is no, no, no. I definitely want to save it. Put this somewhere else for me. Yeah, and that's you what we're doing. You can tell here. what I'm going to do right after this. You're like, I'm going to date with my beautiful <laughs> wife, and I'll be like, I'm going to play video games. I mean, we might we might do that afterwards as well. Y'all are too so. cute. Y'all are unnecessarily. You are so nice <laughs> to each other. I love it. So you get a merge your own pull will... request? <gasps> oh, am I going to be? Do you want to do it, Jess? No, I I'm do have it on you. You do have <laughs> we did do this yesterday a handful of times as well. And usually what you want to do is have somebody else take a look at your code and make sure it's it's good. But uh, I think... But if it's your own project or if it's a bad website, you can do whatever you want. Nobody's the boss of you. That is absolutely true. So let's drag my file in. <laughs> Susan's saying, "Where's the approval process here?" And I'm like, "You're right." I, I like I told you to. That feels like an approval process. Construction worker GIF. I'm just gonna plop that. So I'm just uploading it to GitHub, and what that's gonna do is put it into the folder, <gasps> the same did folder. You commit direct domain. Ooh. I did. I'm I'm breaking all the rules no, I'm today. I'm And and for I folks know. who who haven't heard these terms yet. I'm just picking on Ramon for sort of, it's like <laughs> eating your dessert with a salad fork. It's not against the rules. It's just not what, 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 what you might do in a very fancy web developer diner. <laughs> okay. So given that we're in index and you remember we can refer, so one thing we can do with Markdown is of course uh, add images. And the location or the URL of that image is going to be relative to where this file is. So given that index is in sort of the main folder here, I'm going to put, I'm going to refer to the under construction, I already forgot the name, under construction animated dot gif image. How? Oh Great yeah, question. put it right at the top. Put a row of five of them. Put a row of 10 of them. <gasps> Just hamster dance that out. <laughs> Obviously. That needs to be a term. <laughs> so the way we add images in with Markdown is first we have that exclamation mark, the bang character. Then we've got our square brackets, and then we've got our smooth brackets. So let's start with the smooth brackets. First, it's going to be where our file is located. 
I'm going to be under construction, if I could spell that right, yes. Animate, I already forgot the name. Animated, under construction animated dot gif. Oh, animated dot gif. Hopefully. So why do we have <gasps> that? I and it's doing. The, why does why do we have this as a descriptive string? Why does this? Why does the? Why is it important that the name of this image just mm. describes what it is? Why is it important? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. Because it could happen that we've got lots of images in a folder. And so like trying to distinct, distinguish, distinguish one from another, trying to like tell which one is which, it becomes significantly easier if they have names that describe what that image is. So you're saying it's good for humans. And I think that's yeah. absolutely correct. But it's also good for other machines. So this is always weird when I talk to people about like the spiders crawling over your your website but there's little mm. tiny oh, we've got some ah oh, sus is like hey, hey, hey it is descriptive oh. but we need some alt text you are never thank wrong, you sus and we've got some more some more come up jane's like hey can you can you center the image horizontally so like can you center it in the center of the page Ooh, is that true i can we i'm gonna check i think so but i might have to cheat with html um, first, let's do that that um, alt text, which is extremely correct. Thank you, Suze. And remember, we use the alt text so that if somebody's using a device that in that instead of you know displaying the website on a on a on a screen is instead reciting it via audio, for example, then it's going to describe. We're going to give it the opportunity to describe that website to the person listening, or yeah, listening to the website's contents. So that would be, uh, let's see, a uh, road sign with a construction worker digging. Yeah. And I should be more accurate and say animated road sign. And this is really oh, important, okay. again, for robots yeah. that are coming to see what our page is about. They'll know what this image is about. Uh, but yeah. also, this is important for actual humans, so folks who might be using yeah. assistive technology. Exactly. Exactly. So, can we center the image horizontally using Markdown? I know of a I've way to do it. With eight. Yes? So, I think the important part of this question is, can we center an image horizontally using Markdown? No. No, not really. <laughs> I mean, not not using. We can, we can. Sorry, that that, that sounded very, very like no. Uh, but we can do it. Markdown isn't is just not that fancy. Usually, when we see the output of Markdown, it's been just mm -hmm. like here translated into HTML, and here we've got to cheat and use just plain old HTML. I'm kind Correct. of tempted to go very classic on this, like absolute 1997, right? I think I think we're gonna we're thinking of the same one, and I'm so excited. <laughs> is it? Is what it? Like? Is it? What? What are you thinking about writing? Does it start with a C? It does start with a C. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You're right. And Jane's like, I just want the symmetry. I want this to like, yeah, this is perfect. This is beautiful, <gasps> and this is a reasonable thing to ask for. Wow, what did we break? Is center? Oh, I was. I need. I was going to say is center. So old fashioned that it just doesn't work anymore. I would have believed that as well. Because like <laughs> these are stuck. We we won't go too much into it. So uh, any of these little double Pac-Man babies, and those are the technical mm -hmm. terms. Only the most serious web developers will talk about the double Pac-Man babies. Um, but these are little commands. These are little messages saying what you want to do. So the same way one hash in Markdown mm. is saying, "Hey, I want a big, big." Um, headline. We could do that in HTML, but we need to use these Pac-Man babies and the the tags inside. Yeah. Oh, Jess, I'm so happy. We've been wanting to have a construction worker animated GIF for so many weeks, and we finally have it. And it, it lives so, on our website, so we can just do it, use that all the time. So shall we copy, paste, and make five of them? That work? That's so the worst thing I've ever seen. Children. I love it. I wonder, I'm going to see if it's stretching them, put some side by side. It doesn't look like oh. it. 
And when we learn HTML, we will find a way. Uh, sorry, HTML and CSS. Stick around for the boot camps in summer. Um, yeah. So I'm going to say something controversial. Please. I don't think we need this much alt text. Okay. So Is it too we much? always, always, always have alt text. But here, we've got five of the same image. If somebody using a screen reader came in, they'll hear animation of a roadside worker with a construction. Oh. Road and they'll hear that five times in a row, and that's kind of reductive. Where if we had that five images, true. we could just say, image repeated five times. The only time you ever leave off alt text is if the image is purely decorative. Um, mm. Or I guess if it might be super heckin' weird. Yeah. So what what do you recommend? Shall we? Um... Well, let's just leave one of us. Let's just leave one image for now, just so we don't have to okay. make that hard choice. Yeah, that's it, a very fair point. It's really, really chaotic. Where I'm always saying, you must have alt text. I'll show up at your house and break your windows if you don't have alt text. Unless it's something that might feel weird. Yeah, if you're saying the same thing nine times, I don't know if you need that much alt text. That's a very fair point. <laughs> Sorry, Ramon is blushing and giggling because people are saying nice things about him in the chat. <laughs> oh, I'm too you know what? It's true. If y'all ever want to see Ramon just fall apart, say too many nice things, he cannot process. Look at that. Even just the idea. He's like, oh, I'm imagining people saying nice things about me and I can't handle <clears throat> it. So are you blushing? Yeah. It's, it's 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 the light from my computer. It's just making me is seem it, red. Is it? Yes. Mm. <laughs> um, there's nothing wrong with being soft-hearted. It's very nice. So we've got this, and this kind of works. Yeah, this works. I think great. we want to we want to do just two more little things. Yeah. It's and then we then we can we can we can go play video games or or go to work for some of you in the morning. Um, I think we should make this about page and then I think we oh, should yeah. link to it. Yeah. Or do we want to link Fantastic. to it and then make it? Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's start with the linking. So, uh, well, we'll make this, uh, we will make this a, uh, paragraph where we'll say to learn more about this. No, this will go below the animated worker. <laughs> Executive decisions here. I love that you've got like you're like this is a very bad website, but I have some firm, firm stylistic vision ready to go. I have I have opinions on the badness thereof. <laughs> Look, I, I'm good. Everything's good. Yeah. To learn more about this um work Fan in progress. Website. Oh, thank progress. Um Oh, actually, why not make it uh, imperative? I was going to say, is... because yeah. we had a brilliant, incomparable, perfect guest. Didn't we and Sylvia come and talk to us yesterday and say, hey, think about accessibility when you create your links. Because if you just go right to the links and hear, here, 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 that's not useful. Yeah. Whereas Instead I think we can... about this fan club or learn more about this fan club are both content led like they tell us what the link's about exactly exactly so what we can do is use uh the syntax from markdown that is the command for markdown to make links which uses the square brackets around the what have i done i think i just told my keyboard to That's tell okay. me what it is sorry about that i did no, not know I my thought keyboard that was cool that. It, it so you cool. want a funky square baby yep yeah. And then we want the smooth brackets. Smooth babies. Uh, to tell us where it should link to. Where, where clicking on this will take us to. So that will be forward slash about. Oh, Cassian, that makes a good point to say, do you know what a general rule is? Always, always have alt text unless listening to it be really heckin' annoying. And I Perfect. like to think about this like it. this is a sort of access right so, oh, hey, this is just a picture of a cat. Nobody's going to care. But no, people coming that, to this have the right to that information, unless it's nine digging construction workers. Then you might be able to say, 
animation of a road sign with a construction worker repeated nine times. Yeah, just just to be chill, just to be easy, just to be. Yeah. I love that. So what we can do now is now that we've got a preview of our website, we can try it out. So click this it, should take it, us click to it, click it, do it. <gasps> oh, fantastic! Because we the file exists. Exactly. But there's no content yet. Just the a bad website title. Exactly. Okay. So what we can do now is save our changes. Your changes are ready to okay. be committed to index.md. So commit. S mm -hmm. And Pull let's see request. what we've done. Animated construction worker and link to about page. You are so good and wholesome. Again, when you look at stuff I make, it says fix, 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 broke the thing, broken, broken, more broken. <laughs> Matthew's asking where the cats are. They are definitely off doing crimes right now, my love. Oh. Like if we can't see them, they are pulling clothes out of the closet or getting on the counter. Um, there are many cats here. And if we can't see them right now, they're definitely doing bad things. Oh, no. So this makes a pull request. Yeah. <laughs> and do you know what? I officially give you permission as your non-boss. Thank you. Thank you. I love what Cleoterica is saying as well. I was feeling guilty for the back pain of our worker in progress. Oh, uh, well, this is this. This is the platonic idea of the worker. This is a Sisyphean fate. Um, it's. Instead of rolling a ball up the hill forever, they're, they're just going to dig their little tiny, not a grave, uh, forever. Ooh. <gasps> Until we finish. So Until we finish. Uh, like the internet? About humanity? Em like <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that got very Ooh. dark. And I was like, how are we going to pull that back together? I love it. Um, so we'll click on our pencil here. And then we'll oh, do we've got somebody we asking where we're from, and I can chat while Ooh. I do this. Ramon, where are you? Ooh, where are you from? Is always a fun question. Where are you from? I live in now? Vienna, in Austria, but I'm originally from Chile, in South America. Uh, I live in Birmingham, in England, which is the best city in the UK, uh, but originally from California, which you guessed. So originally from San Francisco, uh, but I can afford my rent here, so I'll, I'll just hang out. And the weather is famously weather. That's very, that's, <laughs> it's the same here. <laughs> um, so, oh, and Matthew's from LA. How lovely. So we've got lovely learners visit from all of the, every now and somebody's like, oh, I'm in Brazil. It's so sunny. And we have to try so hard not to hate them with their oh. sunshine and their joy. No, learners being nice places. Oh, yeah. So what is the laziest thing we can write on our about markdown? Well, the first thing we got to do is we've started up, the, the website has started up. Now we need to navigate to the about page. So now we're here. Uh, so now that's where our preview is. Yeah. How about, uh, how about something like this is, this is a work in it's progress you, It's project. you, you're driving. I'm... Whoa. Uh, this is <laughs> a work in progress project brought to you proudly by proudly. Yes, and Ramon from the Bad Website Club. That's it. That's all we got to say. And we'll add a little hey there. Oh, There's a little title. And What's it we should... like being the nicest man on the internet? Come on, Jess. That's impossible. So <laughs> I think we probably want another square baby here. Yeah, let's link to the yeah. Bad Website Club website. Totally. So that's uh, which is indeed very bad. Bad website dot club. And now I wonder. Now that that's a link, what do you think it'll pop you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, it just opens. So it opened a new tab. Do you know what? I can't wait until we start the boot camp so I can I, I can, can do some CSS and fix the back of this because this could definitely be more pink and purple. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that might be enough to be done for the day. We've been hanging out yeah. for about an hour. Hopefully it's, oh, we should save our work, save our work, well, save your work. Very important. Let's be honest. Um, and the important thing, what are we learning next week? Oh, that is an excellent question. Let me tell you. We're off next week. 
for us. We will let everybody know. Oh, I forgot to open up a little invite to our Discord. Oh, that's okay. I'll get well, one now. Nothing bad is happening. Thank you so much, Jess. Uh, and this one's only our... going to work for about an hour, just because we, yeah. we try and be real fussy about how people can access it. Um, but we'll share one every time we do the live stream. Everything's fine. Where am I? Who am I? Of our garden with a little intro of our work in the progress. Spell. There we go. Create our pull request. We'll merge it. So now that that's merged, oh, thank you so much, Jess. So there it is. Click on this link that we've posted into the chat and come join the conversation on Discord. I said this will only be available for about an hour. And don't worry, we'll... We'll keep when sharing we can... it. And we'll share it in more durable ways when we start the next boot camp. Exactly. Yeah. Everything's so, easy. Nothing is wrong. Absolutely. So here's the thing about this website we've just made. It lives in this code in this chunk of code in GitHub, but it's not actually available publicly. So it's not actually be visible somewhere on live on the internet. And this is a choice we made on purpose because what we could do down the line, maybe in a later season, is learn how to put this live somewhere. So we've got to talk about hosting sometime. Yeah. So really... Right now, we've done a lot of website builders, and that's been so make, 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 make. And they've really had hosting bundled with them. So I'll help you build a website, and I'll also put it up on the internet for you. And when we talked about servers and response codes, we talked about how when you, when you, you, when you tell your browser, go get a website or go get an image, it goes to a server and asks for it. So we're going to have yeah. an upcoming season where we talk about where your code or where your websites live on the web. So, yeah. Exactly. So, so Stay far it's been that. help me build. And later on, it's where does your stuff live? Give it a cute little home. home. Exactly. Well, I think that wraps it up. Yeah. And we can go and take it easy. Remember, we'll be off next week, but we'll be around on Discord if you want to. We've got places for you to collaborate, ask each other, ask us or each other questions, share your websites. I've actually already put some of our the bad websites that Jess and I have built in there. So go share your own as well. And uh, let's keep this going. Yeah. Amazing. I will let you go to go have a very exciting dinner out and I will find out what the cats have broken. Bye, everybody. Take care, everyone.